Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro, for another Motion Monday tutorial. Today we've got another user requested tutorial from Enrico. He was asking if I could show how to use the 3D camera in motion, and there are some really cool things you can do with this. So the very first thing that I should probably talk about is the camera controls. So if you select your camera in any motion project, you've got all of these options here. So we have our camera type, which can be either framing or viewpoint. Framing is your viewpoint is coming from right here on the camera. So at the very end there, whereas viewpoint is more so setting the camera from here. So that's the difference. I don't know why you would bother changing it, but you can. The angle of view is basically like in real life different focal lengths provide different looks on your camera and you can animate this so you get really cool looking stuff just like this your near plane is how near to the camera that it will render and your far plane is how far away from the camera that it will render your near fade is the same thing stuff that is near to the camera can fade stuff that is far from the camera can also fade the depth of field is exactly how it sounds it provides this really nice looking depth of field effect one thing that's super important if you want depth of field you'll have to come up to render depth of field for it to activate so your depth of field blur amount is exactly how it sounds how much it blurs the scene in the background and in the foreground your focus offset your focus offset is essentially this end of the yellow line that is where the camera will be focusing and then you can set your near focus and far focus and that basically just extends out the focus plane so that if you want it to maybe include a few more objects you have stuff that's getting too blurry you can expand it out a little bit infinite focus it just gets rid of your focus and basically at this point i don't know why you would have depth of field enabled but it's just a nice quick option um i guess you could set it up to a rig or something too if you wanted to and then filter you can choose between gaussian or defocus gaussian is much faster and much easier for your computer to render the focus is more realistic and you can get more involved with your parameters here and get more interesting looks, but it is a lot harder on the computer. So just keep that in mind. For the first setup here, I've actually got this scene that I'm working on for a video. And if you want to download this scene, you can hit up my Patreon and you can download this and use it however you want to. We want to have the camera actually pushing through the middle of this. So to do that, we're just going to select our camera. We're going to go up to behaviors, select camera and dolly. It won't do anything until we add in some numbers here. So let's just set this to something like 5,000 and we can now see that the camera is going to slowly start to move through the center of this project now if I shorten the length of this dolly clip here that whole camera movement is going to happen in this short amount of time so I'll play it through and it's going to dolly the whole camera all the way through now I don't really like how fast it like hits at the end so we can change the speed here to from constant to something like decelerate and so now it'll slow down here at the end and have a really smooth stopping point Okay, so the next behavior for your camera is called focus. So we'll come up here to behaviors, camera, focus. Now focus will have the depth of field on the camera focus on whatever object is in the target box here. So I'm just gonna drag in this book that's closing as it enters into the abyss of books here. You'll notice the transition speed here is set to 50%. So that can be useful if you want more of a natural focus pull on something. But for this particular object, we want it at zero so that it's just locked on focus the entire time. Now, if you watch the object as it goes through the scene, the scene is becoming focused throughout and it's just giving it that really nice parallax uh, depth of field. And that is focus. So we're going to take our camera. We're going to go to behaviors, camera motion and select framing. Now we're just going to drop in our robot into the well here. And so what framing is gonna do is the camera is going to automatically frame up with wherever this robot is. So to show that, let me take the robot and we'll add in a quick animation. So we'll have it here on, let's just say we have it animate on the X axis and it goes over to the right. You can already see it happening. So the camera is automatically gonna follow this robot as it goes to the right hand side. And it's just allowing for a really nice smooth transition. And the final location is it's going to exactly fit 
this robot in the frame. So we can go in here into the framing offset and we can actually change how far out our camera ends from our robot, which is really nice for just quickly animating your camera to look at something. And you can do this with text or anything really. And then you could also set the transition to decelerate. So it's just a nice smooth transition. Now there's a ton of options here. But what you really need to know is that it's just automatically gonna follow. You could also change it so it looks at the top of the robot even and does something like that. So you can go crazy with that, but it's mostly used for this front side. Um, yeah, so, or whatever you wanna use it for. So sweep will basically rotate around the anchor point of the camera um, based off of whatever our parameters are set here. So if we want this to be a 360 degree spin around our robot, we can do that. And again, you can set that to accelerate, decelerate, whatever you want to do. You can also set this to roll so you can have it do a complete spin like that, or you can have it do a tilt and you can set however many degrees you want. And again, the speed of that is going to happen over the length of your purple element here. Zoom in, zoom out. Well, it's basically how it sounds. You just plop this effect on there. Um, you can change how far it zooms in and you can set the duration by cutting the purple section short. Um, but it's nothing fancy. I would probably actually rather use like dolly or um, even the framing effect or something like that. So, but that's totally up to you. That is the zoom in, zoom out effect. Zoom layer. So I actually really like zoom layer. So basically, let me drag the robot in here once again. So over the length of this time, the camera is going to perfectly line up with this robot and have it completely centered as far as I can tell. So this is really nice. You can line up your camera here. Let's actually change the robot out for some text. So then we have our crappy text here and we go to our zoom layer. We'll drag that in there. So now the camera is going to animate onto the subscribe here, except for it didn't. Oh, it did. So my mistake. So it's lined up, but it's lined up with wherever the center of the alignment is. So our alignment was off to the left, so it went off to the left. So we want it to be right in the center there. And now the camera will just automatically line up with our subscribe here and we could set it to decelerate. Now what's cool is let's say we wanted it to go on to some other text. We could duplicate this, move this on here and let's move our text. We'll duplicate that and we'll just call it like. And so now, we can go back into our zoom layer copy, drag in the like, and what it'll happen, it'll go to the subscribe and then it'll animate over to the like. And so you can have all your text auto animate. You don't have to know how to do any keyframing in motion and it'll just save you a heck of a lot of time. So yeah, that is the zoom layer. So there you have it. That is all of the 3D camera behaviors explained to the best of my ability. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, consider liking and subscribing. Also consider checking me out on Patreon if you wanna download that really cool looking project file at the beginning of this video. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next Friday.